Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. Now in today's session, this is going to be a special session because I'm not going to show you any Microsoft products. As you have noticed, I'm not wearing my Microsoft shirt, I'm wearing my Harry Potter because what I'm going to show you is I'm going to install the green bone vulnerability analysis in a Linux box for penetration testing. You will also notice that I have my Easy Council certificate right at the back of me. So I hope you'll enjoy this session. Stay tuned and let's dive into it. So I have here my Parrot uh, box running on my VMware workstation and I'll just have to check if I can connect to the internet. So I will just do a ping on the Easy Council website. And there you go. So it is running and we can go and connect to the internet. Now normally when we wanted to configure the green bone vulnerability analysis, we need to go into the applications and go to the pen testing and go to the vulnerability analysis and then choose the open vast green bone and then run the setup and then put in the password and then after which that will initiate and uh, starting the Postgres SQL service downloading all CVE and any vulnerability and so forth and after we have done that we need to make sure that we take note of the password of the user that was created which is right here so I'm just going to copy that and then just place that onto a, a file and then I'm just going to paste that there and then have that saved okay and we will just have to run this through. It will take a few minutes to download all the updated files. And I will just pause the video. Once it is finished, we will now go into the next step. I'll see you shortly. As you can see here, we have already set up our green bone vulnerability analysis. So the next step in there is we need to go into the applications, go to the pen testing, go to the vulnerability analysis, choose open vast green bone, and then we can now start the service. And then type in your password, and then that will now launch the web browser, and then it will show us the front page of the green bone. But unfortunately, this will not do so. This will be stuck in this page. So I have here, I'm just going to do a control C from here. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the workaround on the setting up of the green bone. So I'm just going to clear here. The first thing that we're going to do is type in apt get update. And then after we have taken all the updates, we will now run the install of the Docker. So after that, we'll say apt dot get install docker.io and that will install the Docker say yes and I will just let this run once it is installed we're now going to pull that image called my explain open vas and then we will run the open vas I'll be back as we can see the docker has now been installed so all we need to do now is pull that image so we're going to run now docker and that would be my explain forward slash open this. 
and that will now pull the latest version of the image of Mark's plane open vest that has the green bone in it. Again, I'm going to pause this video and I'll show you the next step. I'll see you soon. Wonderful! So the image has completely downloaded without any errors. So what we need to do in here is just double check it by typing Docker Images and we can see that there's a repository in there that is called Mike's Plain Open Vest. So the next thing we need to do now is run that Docker. So I'm just going to say run minus D minus P, put that on the port of 443, and then we'll name it as Open Vest. And then that will be coming from the repository of Mike's Plain open vest and that will now start running that image and we'll just wait and that is running now and we'll now double check and open our browser and that should be under the 443 HTTPS okay so what we're going to type in here now would be HTTPS 127.0.0 that one and press enter you will have this potential risk ahead warning click on the advance and then we will just accept the risk and continue and we will now be redirected to our open vest green bone security assistant the username we need to use in here would be the admin and the password is also admin and then logging in and then we won't save the username and password and there you go we have now our open vast green bone properly installed and there you go that's how you set up the open vast green bone in your parrot os download first the docker pull the docker image of my explain open vest and run it and your UI will definitely run i hope you enjoyed this session if you did please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks for me thank you for watching